Stop marketing for sales. So every now and then I'll look on social media and LinkedIn and I'll see some individual creating content basically saying in a nutshell, buy my shit. And you know, if you're serious about getting the sales numbers that you want in your business, there's actually a better way to attract those customers into your business. You see, those individuals who create content like that, they are marketing for conversions and not conversations. Now, there are two core reasons why we market for conversations and not conversions, like the majority of people do in a cringy way. Number one, it allows us to build trust quicker because we're creating content that actually serves and helps people instead of creating content which basically encourages people to buy straight away. And number two, it allows you as the business owner to actually qualify better. The worst thing that you can do is actually onboard a client that's gonna give you a massive headache when you actually can spot these red flags sooner so you can actually qualify them out. So you're probably wondering how the hell do you market for conversations and not conversions? Now the process I'm gonna share with you is simple. It's also free and also it'll work across each platforms, whatever platform you're gonna be using. So if you're using Facebook groups or YouTube or Instagram, it will work on there too. And essentially what you're gonna be doing is asking your audience to raise their hand virtually. You're signaling for interest in something that you have to offer for free. Now, how you go about doing this is to first think of your target customer's top three problems. And if you don't know your target customer's top three problems, then you've got work to do. You need to go back, do some research, you know, send out some surveys, speak to people and get that data in. As entrepreneurs, our primary primarily job is to solve people's problems. And business is gonna be much more difficult. It's already hard as it is. It's gonna be much more difficult if you do not know those problems or even worse, if you're guessing. So go and ensure that you understand your target customer's top three problems. But if you do, pick one of those problems, okay? One of those core problems. And then you can create a PDF, a video, a checklist, a cheat sheet, a resource, on three ways on how they can solve that problem they're going through, how they can go about getting it, uh, getting over that hurdle, how they can overcome it, okay? And as I mentioned, there's various formats you can create this. And basically what you wanna do then is ask people to raise their hand. So on your platform, whatever platform you're using, you would say something as, uh, hey guys, I've created this um, free uh, PDF, video, checklist, cheat sheet, whatever you're using, on how to solve problem, whatever their problem is, so you can result, okay, their outcome, what they want from uh, the problem they're going through, okay? And then you wanna put the bottom of that post, if you want this, comment below a certain word. And that word could be, uh, I want it, it could be um, uh, me or, um, I'm in something that allows them to raise their hand virtually by commenting on your post, okay? Then what you wanna do once they start commenting is reply back to them that you're going to message them the thing that you've created, okay? And by doing that and by the comments you're getting on your post, the algorithms on social media start to kick in and that starts to reach more and more of your target customer. Now, further on than that, by sending them the freebie that you've created, it opens up that conversation line. It opens up that branch of communication because you've not tried to sell them, you've actually tried to serve them. And that is far more effective in business. And by opening up that conversation, you can go further into their problems, you can engage with them more, um, and also you can book in that next call, that next chat, that Zoom session, that uh, Microsoft Teams session, whatever it may be, because you initially gave them something of value. You didn't try to ram your product or service down their throat. And also by opening up that branch of communication, you can ask further questions 
as a part of your qualifying process, okay? Now, of course, we've all got different qualifying processes, so obviously stick to yours, but ideally, you're not getting customers who are not joining your business who are never gonna be a right fit. And also, as a business owner, you don't wanna be wasting time on people who are never going to be buy either. And also, don't forget, this is great for qualifying initially. By getting those people to comment on your post, they're actually raising their hand by saying, first of all, they're in your target demographic of customer, and number two, they're going through those problems and they want that result. So before you even start engaging with them, they're actually letting you know they're your people, which of course you can then follow up with sending them the freebie you've created. So guys, I hope this episode has helped. By following this process, not only is it gonna allow you to build trust quicker, but also it's gonna allow you to qualify better and as a result, improve the sales in your business. And guys, if you've got value from this episode, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It does help the algorithms. And of course, if you think this will help anyone else, please do share with your friends. And in the meantime, I'll be seeing you on the next episode. Thank you.